Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Secret of Mono Blind. This is your host Fenrir. And we are off on more adventure. Yes. There's a bear. You are not. Quit lying, bugs. You mean, mean ass bugs. And I went and got myself some coffee while on break. Which I totally forgot to do before the last video. Damn it! As I, I do, I record in sessions. Anyone who doesn't know that, you now know. So, ever since part eight, I've been recording in a straight flow. Hmm. Yes. And as soon as I can fucking hit something, it's up here. Am I seriously looking at a nothing kind of? There's another one of those things. What are they? Like I, I, I saw like a shit ton of them over at the village. But like, yeah, that that doesn't make me feel any better. I still don't know what they are. But I guess we do go this way, because it's just a circle up there. I need a drink. Because I like coffee. And more bugs. Big surprise there, huh? Bugs that like to dodge my whip. My whip of awesome. And chest. And chest. Pick it up. Thank you. Candy. I needed that. And grab. That apparently dodges me also. Because it is cruel. And apparently does not like me very well. Will you stop fucking dodging? I mean, sure, I dodge a lot too, but... <laughs> That's no excuse for you to dodge a lot, right? Or maybe level 19. Nice. Nice sauce. And this is going to be as swimming as I wanted it to. Ooh, God, what's up here? Something. Oh my God, this is so maze like. Could be missing a lot right now. I would never know. I've never played this before. And Ali's level 19. Cool. There's stuff all over this hell. Temporarily out of fuses. Okay, so it looks like I'm not going anywhere for a while. At least not by that. But there's also a place up here. I'm guessing. Why? Why me? Yeah, you, you guys go ahead and take care of this one. Except you're incompetent and can't. Now I feel bad for me naming you after my friends because your AI is really stupid. What's up here? A cave? Um, I'll come back to that. As soon as I've surveyed more of the area. And taken a drink while he's using Thunder Saber or whatever. Yeah. I'm sorry for my excessive drinking. It's just, I'm thirsty. Unless Matongo is in said cave. Which I doubt. Matt, you like getting snagged on trees. <clears throat> it seems pretty straightforward-ish. I haven't seen many side paths, really. Yes, Ali, you poke out uh, a silk tail while it heals and stuff, and you know, just let it. No, I don't fucking care. They're just respawning right there. They're respawning douchebags. Well, you let me fucking move! God damn. There's nothing more annoying than that. Fucking birds are out to get me. And how is it that I missed with that? Thank you. Can we go in this place now? And see what there is to be seen. Yes, this is clearly an enemy. And we're already kind of blocked off it. Ah, what the fuck was that about? Wow, um, 
This is immediately more interesting. Because now we have to deal with these assholes. I think. Um, do I use an axe? Yep. What about them grapes? Because we have to go this way. Welcome to Matongo. Hmm. Unlike others of our kind, we're peaceful. Nice. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. Very interesting name. We say Matongo to greet each other. Gauntma means goodbye. Okay. Are these type of mushrooms? The forest has become a dangerous place. Noted. We aren't equipped to fight monsters, or mushrooms, so I'd imagine not. Can you not get snagged on every fucking object in the world? Thank you. Ugh, I'm sorry I get so annoyed by that, but Jesus. Not leaving yet, I hope. So I take it up here. Yep, up there's the exit. We aren't equipped to fight monsters, you said that already. This is Fun Castle, I'm of King Trouble. Are there maybe shops in here? I'm sure King Truffle can help you. Heard that too. We will look at an item shop. Let us investigate. While I take a drink. Super. What have you for sale, young mushroom or something? We have Wolf's Band. Fancy overalls. A new steel cap. I'll take that. One of each of these. And one of each of these. We are all sorts of geared up now, people. How many did I just buy? I'll buy one more just to be safe. Need more candy. Okay, maxed out on that. <laughs> Time for chocolate. Huh, got all that too. Couple wishes. I know I use at least one of those, yeah. Okay, so let's gear up here. Eventually, I will get this right. Um, armor's here. And new steel cap. As well as, well as fancy over this. And I did buy one too many, didn't I? Well, proof face. And equip. Don't need one of those, but we would like some fancy overalls. And one of these do make me jigs. Don't need any of that, but we would still like some fancy overalls. And one of these do make me jigs. Yeah. Thank you. Now I can just sell all the extras. And then get some monies. Okay, we no longer need this. Or this. Or even the headgear. So let's sell all that. And as far as this is, we don't need either the spiky suits or the kimono dress. Kung Fu dress, my bad. It looked like a kimono. Don't agree with me. We can also get rid of these power bracelet thing. Cobra bracelets, my bad. And my one extra wolf band in the other two. And we are done in here. Yay for gear. Love some gear. I'm really thirsty. Um I gotta go through here. Oh, um hey Watts. You are like following us around like a really weird person. You're a stalker, dude. This man's told me all about you. How oh, nice of him. I take you your King Truffles. Here at last, legendary knight. You don't think we have legends here like everywhere else? Where did the music go? Riding a white dragon and wielding the sword. They. 
shall save the world. That's you guys, right? I knew it right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw a white dragon fighting a huge snake. Use the first floor exit on the right for the cave. Palace? I know where it is, but first find the cave. Then I'll tell you how to reach the palace. Oh, and there's something upstairs for you. Alright. Let me guess. Either a weapon or an orb. My money's on orb. Javelin orb. Didn't we just power up the javelin? What about the sword and the spear? You know, I like those weapons, and I really like to level them up sometime. Just saying. They already left. Damn, Watts. You are following us around a lot, aren't you? You know, a javelin might be useful to light trident. Um, let's see how that worked. Out oh, for attack power. Only one more. Well, is that really even worth it at this rate? The backhand whip is better for her now, so let's give it to her. It's back here. You may pass. Um, I'm just. Oh, here's my end. Um, I can save. Unless I'm mistake. I'm actually out of MP now that I think about it. Because I don't think level ups bring back your MP at all. But we can also save! So. Uh, yes. Our level 19 cells. And you guys failing to run past beds because you guys are really stupid. Again, I feel bad for saying that about people I named after my girlfriend and my best friend, but. Ha! Ah, owned. Oh, wait. She doesn't really need to be close to them anymore, does she? I can actually have her back up a little bit. Why? Um. But yeah, this is this is fun. Getting snagged on shit, you know. Always enjoy. Can you stop dodging, please? I really like to hit you sometimes. And I need to level up my axe again. Cause I powered it up, yo. And these things really dodge a lot. I do really miss the range on that fucking whip. I see her and she's having so much easier time with it than I am with my axe. Ow. Jerk. I was poisoned. I don't know. Not so happy face. Which equals sad face. Dick. She got poisoned this time? Nice. Very walnut. Don't even have to pay the thousand for it. Away with you. You aren't even worth it. Neither are you, good sir. But we are here in the cave. It appears all twisty and turny and stuff. Well, I'm going to kill you, porcupine thingy. Hedgehog. This is like Sonic the Hedgehog kind of thing, because... I don't know many other blue-colored hedgehogs that wouldn't be considered a rip-off of our famed blue hedgehog. Can we move and go around and then maybe do something like that? No, how about this? We cast spells, because, you know, spells work too. And from the looks of it, you would be susceptible to getting the shit bashed out of you by a rock. So let's do that. And I was right. Gnome reaches level 1. Nice. Bird. I hate birds. Actually, I love birds. If I was any animal out of karma's sake, I'd totally be a bird. Because then I can fly and stuff. And flying is a lot better than breathing underwater. Wanna know why? Because nothing in the sky can eat you unless it's a jet engine. Always think of it like this. Oh, but I need that whip. Um, actually, I can just switch to her.
don't I? Yep, there we go. Now I can switch back to my trusty hero with axe and tow. Wow, these things actually have a lot of HP. I'm just ignoring that guy. They're more trouble than they should be worth, honestly. Eventually, this hedgehog will die. And happy camper I will be when said day arrives. Looks like whenever he hits the ground, he's down for good. Especially if you keep on hitting him. There we go. I like the train thing going on here. It's this way. Don't want to miss anything. Well, it's a, clearly nothing. Oh, my impetuous little dungeon crawling mess. Although, okay, if I miss anything, like an orb or something, and probably should go back for it, please let me know. Thank you. Um, especially you, Kenster. I don't know how often you even watch my videos. But seriously, dude, if I'm missing something, like an orb or something, I don't want story things or location do jigs. I just want to know if I pass something up that I really shouldn't have. Easy enough to understand, right? I certainly hope so. Because if anyone spoils this game for me, I'm going to kick a lot of teeth in. Weapon skill up. Level 3 axe. And Komodo Bird just can't get enough of getting whacked. What's over here? A pit of some sort. Oh, I know where this is. That was, uh, right behind the Togo. Looks like I'm going to have to come back to this place, though. This room in particular. But this game apparently likes backtracking sometimes. But not that the world is starting to expand itself a little bit, the backtracking doesn't seem to be so bad. In general. Especially since Watts now follows us around like a faithful little puppy. Which I am really liking, by the way. I don't have to go all the way back to Guy's Navel anymore. He will follow me to towns. Why does silence confuse people? Silence doesn't confuse me. I, I'm rather fond of the thought of silence. Level 20. Alright, sauce. Awesome. Now, where the hell am I exactly? Yep, I go to the left. How did you get your ass all the way over here? Where did you come from, good sir? I'd really kindly like to know. Because the fact that you're here rather annoys me. I haven't done much in this video, so I'll leave which is level 20. At least they level up in a fair you know, distance from each other. Why can that reach me all the way over here? I know spells are generally the game breaker, but can I please move in one direction? Or have like an icon telling me when I'm confused and when I'm not, so I can plead you fucking bird. I'm not even close to joking anymore. I fucking hate birds. Because of this game, I'm now like in a major distaste of birds. It appears you block better when you're not doing anything. Yeah, you, you, you guys hit that button. Cause I'm, I'm having a hard time hitting jack shit. Just so you know, game, your evasion rates are kind of wonky. And then they move like that, and just become annoying. Thank you. I have a hunch about this one in particular. It's probably Earth. But yeah, that's Analyzer. Let's just see for it's gnome's magic will work. Okay, so we do need a uh, magic of the gnome variety, and let's use the cheap one, gem missy. It doesn't say which of his will work, it will just say that his will work. Let me guess. Um, nothing immediately happened. So, how about we do try Earth Sled, and we do have a fairy walnut just in case. Heard the sound of falling rocks somewhere. Yep. 
I guess you do need to use their signature moves. Glorious. However, oh, must have been this. There has to be a catch to this too, right? I mean, it's not always as simple as that. Fucking owls. Uh. Seriously, they're like my most hated enemy so far. But this one dropped a chest, and I want it. They have no choice to run away from me. Medical orb won't fit, so if I ever get poisoned or some shit, I can actually get rid of that rather easily. Ugh. Commentary is dead because I've been in this cave for a good while now. I'm hoping there's a boss fight near the end of it so I can actually say I did something in this video. Fuck it. I'm moving. I'm leaving. Oh, who called it? What are we fighting? What the fuck are you? Uh. Well, this is special, isn't it? Um, we're fighting a giant snake. And it doesn't seem very offensively oriented so far. I lied. It can, he can run into us. That's not friendly. Ow! Well, at least it isn't hugely damaging because they know like you can get trapped pretty easily, I hope. He just eat me! Pick me eyes. I'm not all small and shit. Um, um. Wrong person. I need your powers to heal my ass. I need to be unpigmied. Because every hit against me is a critical. Um. I'm up here. Oh god, why? Thank you. Um, I would like to use care water again. Thank you. Allie's magic skill up. Undine reaches level two. Undine appears to level up rather quickly. And he pygmyizes a lot. Let's have her remedy herself. Keep the snake off her, hopefully, but she died. Too bad, Reaper. She's mine. Get your own girl. Why, game? This is stupid. Status ailment that's hard to fight off in the first place. Thank you. And now she can fully heal all of us. Man, she, no wonder Andy levels up fast for her. It's all cure magics. I think her magic just levels up more in particular because hers are like mandatory and shit to be nice. Oh wow, this is, this is getting dangerous. Because this, this fight's dragging out and I don't like fights that drag out because it's always when the fights drag out that they overpower me. It's not really overpowering, they just outlast me. I'm blocking a lot, that's a good sign. Uh, well, wasn't the white dragon fighting a giant snake? Ow! Jesus! What was that about? Are you that mean, Mr. Snake? Have you hurt my... Well, apparently my white dragon? Great viper. And you pygmied me. Okay, you already hit me once, dude. Get over yourself. Let me do something rather than die. Because as much as I love doing that, I'd really rather not. Okay, let's cure water. 
Who should can now cure for over a hundred? Ha! Will you stop pigmying me? I should probably just save the rest of her stuff for remedies. This is annoying. Not completely unforgivable, but mean. Especially since you know a real good way to run away from him because he's kind of unpredictable in his movements. And he's getting faster. Well, that's never fun, is it? Oh, Jesus. This is getting rather spooky. Gem missile? Since when? No, what? Gloves off. You use Earth, I'll use Wind, and I will... Air Blast you, why not? Oh, there we go. Suck it, Serpent. Got Sword Zord, finally! Matt reaches level 20. No grand explosion for that one? Hmm, that's rather depressing. Might I say. I was expecting a good boom for that one. Um, you look like the thingy those thingies that were flying around. This is a legendary white dragon. His parents must have been beaten up by this hurting. It won't make it if we leave it here. It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Cruffle. He'll only slow you down, so I'll raise him. K King Truffle, quiet you. You three get going. I'll take good care of him. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? Hang on. I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not. So let's call him Flammy and be done with it. Flammy or Flammy? Cannon travel is open again in the forest of the south. You'll find the fire palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. Okay. So we saved the white dragon that we're supposed to be using later? Well, let's. Kindly upgrade our sword once again to the Herald Sword. And let me see it because I haven't used the sword in a good while, but it's a little weaker than the axe. But I want to use it. Now I'm going to say I can probably call it tonight because I'm tired and thirsty. It's like 6 30 in the morning. Yes. But yeah, that, that was pretty weird boss fight, if I do say so. Say it again? Yes. We are level 20. Alright, well everyone, this has been Fenrir. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.